Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I bring you the review of Middlesbrough vs Manchester City, which just happened down at the Riverside, which I've just come back from. Um, first off, I just want to get the whole the whole Leroy Sané thing out of the way. Um, before I do, I just want to say the boys were terrific. The boys gave everything today. Um, full commitment to you know you know to the game, and we came out of it wrongly for me. Um, we should have had the three points, regardless of what anyone says. For me, it's it's point blank not a penalty. Obviously, City fans are gonna are gonna jump jump on my back or whatever and say, well, it was. Well, actually, it wasn't. Like, go look at the footage of the game. You'll see it wasn't a penalty. Leroy Sané, hang your head in shame, even though you won't, but you should because that was not a penalty. You know, it's um, it's one of the decisions. Where people get angry and whatnot, but for me, I'm just disappointed purely. Over the prof over you know he should be a professional footballer, and that wasn't professional what he did. You know cheating. I don't I don't justify it in football. I don't I don't see why I don't see why players have got to do it. To be quite honest with you, you know we, you know we were playing we were playing a I thought we were playing a tremendous game. You know even after that point even after that point we were play, we I thought I thought we played absolutely outstanding. But to get to that point, you know first half I thought we played absolutely outstanding. And then second half I came out and instead of sitting back as we did against Sunderland, in my opinion, obviously I thought we sat back against Sunderland. I said it in my review. We actually attacked City. We took the game to them. And I'm thinking to myself, we might actually get something from this game. We might actually get the win because of the way we were playing. Obviously Sané and Sterling come on pretty early in the second half. And then Sané just decides to take it upon himself to jump on the floor. And that's exactly what it was. Um... It was shocking, to be quite honest with you. You know, you know, you don't have to do that in football. You don't have to dive. No need to cheat. But um, I'm sure when you guys watch this video and if you've already seen it or whatnot, let me know in the comments what you think because I personally, I think it was a shocking decision from the referee. It's just me because it was not a penalty. Sane, for some reason, is in the corner. Comes away. Obviously, he's obviously got to the edge of the box. He then just cuts in, and he boots the ball away from the defender and then falls over. I mean, I'm five rows back from where it happened. I'm, I'm near enough staring him in the eyes when he does it. And he falls. And I turn back straight away because I knew exactly what the referee was going to do. Split second decision. And he gives it. And I think, you know, it's not a penalty. And that's the only thing that's why I'm up about today's game. Is that, you know, we play outstandingly well. I thought. You know, these, these reviews and these previews are all my opinion to why I make them. But I'll also listen to fans if they make, if they make points on the game. And today, I do want to see what people thought of that penalty. So let me know in the comments what you thought. Because for me, it wasn't a penalty. Obviously, Aguero scored it. We all know this. But it wasn't. And it's not me saying oh, it wasn't because I'm a Middlesbrough fan. It genuinely... For, my, for, for, for me, it wasn't a penalty. Sane dives. And that's just how it goes for me. Um, but anyway, you know... I mean, let's keep talking about the match. But, you know... Sane... Disgraceful. Disgraceful for me. There's there's no words for it. Absolutely disgraceful. But that's just my opinion on the whole incident. Um but let's let's obviously go from the front of the game. Obviously we kick off, um and they I do well, you know, Manchester City had a little attack, but we um you know, we dealt with it well. And in the first half, that's the way it kinda of went. Everything that City were giving to us, everything every time they ran forward with the ball, we were soaking up the pressure and we looked dangerous on the counter attack. Um and obviously it broke for us just before the break. Around the 39, 40 minute mark, um, the ball come through, George Friend, and then it goes out to Downing, and it comes back over the box, and the Grado hits it, comes off the post, and goes in. And um, yeah, it, was, it went absolutely mad, the Riverside, it was a great feeling. You know, nobody expected us to get anything from this game today, but obviously, obviously we scored two goals, we came away with the point, we should have came away with three, but the Grado scores, the place erupts, the Riverside goes absolutely mad. Um, going to half time 1 0, and I said to my brother and my friend who took, my, well, obviously my friend who was there, um, I said to them both, we have to we have to come out and we have to try and get the early goal, and we can't sit back on the one obviously the 1 0 lead because because as we've seen this season we can be punished. Um, obviously quite the second half, and it was exactly the same intensity. It was fantastic. It was a fantastic performance. You know the boys came out, didn't sit back, didn't look like didn't look like they, didn't look like they wanted to sit back or play defensive. Um, Obviously, uh, obviously, obviously for me, Borough played the perfect game today. Um, but obviously they came back into it after the penalty. That's how they got the penalty. The 
Aguero, put it away. We're 1 1. Uh, a couple of substitutions got made. Um, and then, you know, about, I think about 73 minutes, there's a massive like scramble because obviously I sit in the south stand, so this is on the other end to me. This happened in the north, our second goal. Bit of a scramble, and I just see the net bulge, and again, it went absolutely crazy. And, um, you know, we all thought that was it. You know, we all thought Borough have done it, you know. We beat City. Come on now, you know, this is it. Then um, Sane again gets touched, goes down, and ball goes in the box, and Gabriel Jesus nods it in with Z, and uh, and again we're all level. Um, but the fans, the fans didn't stop. Us fans didn't stop our game. You know, we got the behind the boys 100% today. I mean, from start to finish, even after they scored, literally seconds after they scored, we were back, 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 back behind the boys. You know, and seeing our heart out for them, and that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Um, and us Borough fans, you know, I take I take my out to every single one of them because, I, for me, I want more away. We are absolutely outstanding, and I'm not just saying it. You know, people have said it, pundits have said it. Borough fans are incredible, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I do agree. Even I am a Middlesbrough fan, yes. But today we were absolutely outstanding. You know, the support from the boys and everything. You know, so yeah, for me today, I thought we were outstanding. I thought we actually played. A, I thought we played a fantastic game. That's probably one of the best Borough games I've seen this season. Um. And obviously, obviously we come out with a point. For me, it should have been three points. But what can I say? You know, the match is finished. And um, yeah, but listen, I mean, the boys, the boys played incredible today. And I seen afterwards, you know, most of them sat on the floor. And there's, you know, you know, the boys couldn't give much more. They couldn't give anything more than what they gave. And um, I listened to Callum Chambers, um, you know, interview after the match, and he sounded gutted in his voice. And you know. I was asking in my preview for the boys to give everything, everything they had, and today that's exactly what they did. And I, I couldn't be more proud of the performance, to be quite honest, because I thought he played absolutely outstandingly well. Um, obviously, I like to give a man of the match. Oh, obviously, my reviews. Today it was tough to give a man of the match because again, everyone had a great game. Like Sunderland, everybody played well again. There was a few individuals that stood out for me today. Two, two actually. Um, Adam Clayton, Callum Chambers. Them two for me were absolutely outstanding today. And I mean, Clayton was getting back, winning every single challenge. And in the aerial threat inside our box, Callum Chambers, he was just winning everything. You know, every time the ball came in the box, he was winning everything. And um, yeah, so it's a hard one to give, but I'm going to give it to Callum Chambers today, my man of the match. I thought he played absolutely outstandingly well. And he's been out, you know, for a little while and he comes back and he gives a performance like that. And he also got his goal. But for me, he gave 100%. Just like all the other lads, he gave 100%. And like I say, uh, I couldn't be more proud today. Even though we didn't get the win. And yeah, okay, maybe getting relegated. You know, people say what they want. You know, we sh you know what I mean? We're just trying to get, you know, we're just trying to go out. Go on, trying to go out on a high. And um, today, like I say, I'm proud. I'm not angry. I'm not upset. You know, well, obviously, I am disappointed. And Leroy Sane for what he did. But like I say, I'm proud of the boys. Even though it's only a point, it should have been free. I'm, I've got absolutely nothing negative to say about the game today because I thought right from the off we attacked and we defended well. Obviously, two goals, yeah, fair enough, but everyone concedes. But apart from that, I thought, I thought, I thought we defended well. I thought we were unlucky not to come away with the three points. If you guys went to the game or you listened to the game, you know, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments about the penalty. Let me know if you think it was a penalty or if it wasn't. And let me know your man of the match. It'd be interesting to see what you guys think. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, can you please smash that thumbs up for me and subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time for the Chelsea preview. See ya.